like to wish you a happy Christmas and peaceful New Year. I would say that uh, attaining to that Christ love within us is finding that peace within the twofold peace, which is the meaning of Jerusalem. And, uh, and we do need to have God's wonderful counsel in order to attain to that peace within, to face the truth of where we've gone wrong, where we've sinned, where we've made a mistake, and to be able to turn things around and find that inner peace. So a new heaven. Everything real is invisible. Gifts of jasper transformed from pearls, emeralds made from sapphire squared attaining to amethyst shining, like diamonds dancing delicately on water. Chastoni waltzing with topaz, sardonic serenading sardius, turquoise passion speaking love. Love made whole, like an olivine, fulfilling complete, like a mine of treasures with no dragon, no pirates or opposition, just understanding with reason. Chrysolite gold molten into an emerald river flowing to a chrysoprase sea. So happy Christmas and happy and peaceful new year with love and light, new Jerusalem for heaven on earth. Salvation. This is based on Exodus 3.14, Romans 6.23, Luke 19.40 and Revelation 21. The end is the beginning of the word endorphin. The end is the beginning of the word The end is the beginning of love's promise to end man-made trauma, grief and pain. To end inner turmoil and confusion. To end abuse, regret and shame. To end the sickness of mind delusion. To end the trauma, grief and pain. The end is the beginning of the word endorphin. The end is the beginning of the word. The end is the beginning of God's promise to end man-made trauma, grief and pain. The end is the promise of salvation. The end is the promise of rebirth. The end is the conscious healing message for peace and heaven here on earth. The end is the promise of new heaven, where truth will set us free from pain, where mourning will be completed for love to reside in us again. The end is the promise of new heaven, where the stones will cry out for rebirth. The end is the beginning of the word endorphin for peace and heaven here on earth. And God's love is not a cortisol stress hormone of fear, but a naturally occurring endorphin blood of Christ made whole and one in our body, the temple for God's love and peace to dwell. Pentecost the Holy Spirit within. Shalom. And yeah. And so the heavenly New Jerusalem, which uh, reveals that conscious healing process through the gemstones, which actually all of the gemstones that are uh, listed for New Jerusalem refract the whole spectrum of light. No light missing, no rays missing, the full spectrum of light, which is, I would say, the resonance of love. And so to have the courage and the faith to seek our peace and happiness, to wrestle between what's right and wrong, to be able to forgive, to hear and to listen And then our body, when we become conscious of that, our body can release our naturally occurring endorphin reward. Overcoming those stress, hurt, fear, pain, anxieties. Yeah, mental confusion and distress. And then we have to be able to tolerate others. We have to be able to have trust. And only the truth will set us free.
And so the 12 tribes are listed at, uh, at Revelation. Uh, yeah, Revelation 7. And uh, it doesn't include Dan, but Dan is on the gates. Um, and so Dan is to do with the, the judgment. And when we can realise what's wrong, then we can work to resolve it and put it right. And so we need to do in our world many things that need redressing to love. Yeah, for the crown of stones. For that golden halo. For the fullness of the spectrum of light for love. For the cup of love. For the union between two or more people, the cup of love. The seven spirits. The love, faith, discernment, righteousness, consciousness, friendship, unity with love and kindness and no abuse or time to end all abuse because it's time for heaven on earth. For that whole cup of love, for the two whole lives or more and more for everybody with the presence of God's love because today is our present. Our present is a present only if and when we are present, which can and always be made pleasant. <laughs> love is God's gift, yeah, which can always be made pleasant. I sometimes change a line in there. So it's the one place, the one place with no division, where stress, grief, hurt and pain and God has a promise. And the light of this world is returning. God bless. Happy Christmas 2023. And may we find the peace and safety for ending war in 2024. May that door be opened, Jesus Christ. Revealed. The consciousness of his love, which is not the stress hormones we are ruled with in this world. And may we protect the innocence of children. For the fullness of their spirit and faith which we as adults need to become like that and open to our creativity and love and kindness and God's moral and righteous laws for love to prevail. For Pentecost, which was the start of the church, which is the Holy Spirit within, which is the resurrection of God's love. So it's a happy Easter and happy Christmas, peace with the Holy Spirit for a quiet conscience which is what healing is. Happy Christmas and peaceful New Year. God bless.